Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I wanna teach you how you can use a custom font in your Squarespace website. I'll show you how to link to free Google fonts and what to do if you have a font file that you need to upload so you can use it with the different text types available in Squarespace. Now we've got a lot to cover today and I've included important timestamps in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can get to it. Here we are in Squarespace version 7.1, and before I show you how to install a Google font or a custom font, I want to teach you my time-saving font menu trick just in case this is exactly what you need to know. What I want you to do is open up your site styles menu to access your font menu. At the bottom of this font menu, you'll see a link for assign styles. If you click on this, it opens up a list of over 80 different things in your Squarespace website that can have their own custom font. Now here's where the magic happens. In this website, I know that I'm not going to use a menu block, and you'll see that my menu block is assigned to match a heading or a paragraph font style. Let's click into the menu nav font option, and instead of heading, I'm going to select a custom font. This lets me choose a different font family from the list of all of the fonts available in Squarespace. Let's scroll through here to pick a creative one. How about Sale? We'll click on Sale. And now Squarespace has uploaded the Sale font to be used on my Squarespace website. Now again, I'm not using this menu block in my Assign Styles menu. This menu block won't be anywhere on my site but I've installed a custom font by clicking on the custom option and selecting a different font family. Now that we've installed this font, let's use custom code to change part of the text on our Squarespace website to have the sale font. I'll select exit, and we're going to navigate to our pages menu, and then I'm gonna select website tools, and then custom CSS. Now I know for a fact that I've got my heading one font in a couple of spots here on this particular page, so for the sake of making this easy, let's change the heading one font. I'm gonna say H1 and I'll open up a curly bracket and I'll say font family, sale. And now the sale font is being used by all of the H1 or heading one font styles on my entire Squarespace website. How cool is that? Now let's say you wanna change the font for just an individual content block in your Squarespace site. You can use something known as the block ID. There's a free Chrome extension. I'll link to it in the description below. If you click on this Chrome extension known as the Squarespace ID Finder, it's going to display the unique ID for everything on a Squarespace website. So I can grab this block ID right here and inside my code, I'm gonna add it to the very beginning. And this code now says, hey Squarespace, when you see this content block and inside of it is a heading one text type, make sure it has this font family. Pretty cool trick, isn't it? Now you could also use a custom selector if you know the selector for an individual item in your Squarespace website, like this section right here. This is a list section, sometimes referred to as a people section. And here inside my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, I can grab the selector for that list item title. That's this right here. Now inside Squarespace, I can say, if you see a list item title, give it this custom font. And check it out, the sale font is now used for that list item title. We can add other font and text properties here too, like maybe we wanna change the size of this to be a lot bigger. I'm gonna add exclamation point important to make sure that size works. There we go. All right, maybe a little too big. How about we use 25 PX? Perfect, I like that font size a lot better. All right, now let's talk about installing a custom font. That was my favorite trick for finding one inside the Squarespace font database. But let's say you have your own custom file or you want to choose a Google font. Let's do this together. I'm gonna open up fonts.google.com and here we can see a gigantic list of all of the free fonts available from Google. Let's say we wanna filter this down and do a playful font that happens to be Art Deco. What do we have here? Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, Monotone, let's go with that. I've clicked on this font and now I have the option to select Get Font on the top right-hand side. Here, I can download the font file from Google by clicking this option. And now that I've got my font file, we're gonna go back to Squarespace. We're here inside our custom CSS panel, and I'll show you one last time how we got there. From our main menu, what I want you to do is select Pages, and at the bottom of your Pages menu, you'll see Website Tools and then Custom CSS. This is where we can upload a custom font to our site. In this case, we're using a font that we downloaded from Google, but these are the same steps for installing your own custom font. Click on the Custom File Options and click this plus sign, 
or drag and drop the file from your computer, and Squarespace will add the font file to your website files. Now we need to name this font so we can use it, and we've got to do that with some custom code. I'm going to paste a code right here that you'll find underneath the video, and this is how we name the font in Squarespace so we can use the characters in our custom code. I'll remove this placeholder text, and instantly we'll see a list of all the files that I've uploaded to my custom files. Select your font file from this list, or you can click the drop down and select it here, and Squarespace will paste that URL here inside our custom code. Now you can name this font anything you want it to be. I'm going to give it the name that Google did, which is Monoton. Monoton, I don't know why I can't say that word today, but there we go. So let's go ahead and use that font. Let's change the H1 to the new font family that we've just uploaded. I'm gonna say H1, which stands for heading one, and then I'm gonna repeat the font family and the custom name right there. And check it out, our fonts instantly update across our website to be the new font that we've installed. Now scrolling down here at the bottom, I've got an example of multiple heading types. Maybe you want this for a heading one and a heading four. You can add a comma after H1, and you'll be able to add it to the heading 4. And it'll be used for both text types. Just separate your selectors with a comma. Now be super careful for other changes you want to make here. Like let's say you want to adjust the font size. That's going to be reflected for both types, heading 1 and heading 4. So if you use that comma, remember that all of the code in between those curly brackets will apply to both of the selectors at the very beginning. Definitely a good pro tip to know when you're customizing fonts. So again, in this tutorial, we talked about the font menu trick. I'm gonna go ahead and select save so we can walk through that real quick. On the right-hand side of the screen, I opened up my site styles menu. I clicked into fonts and I selected assign styles. Click on a type of content that you're not planning to use. For this example, I chose the menu block. Select any item and for the style, select custom instead of paragraph heading or miscellaneous. Then you can choose a font family from any of the fonts available in Squarespace. Squarespace will install the font for you and you can reference that font name in your custom code. Now we also talked about how to grab a font from Google. I'll go ahead and close that and we'll open up Google Fonts. Here at fonts.google.com, you can select any of the fonts that you want to work with here and then choose the Get Font option. Once you've done that, you'll be able to download the font file and then the next steps are the same for uploading a Google font or a custom file you've downloaded somewhere else. Here inside Squarespace, open up your CSS panel. To get there, we started from our main menu, then you'll select Pages, Website Tools, Custom CSS. Click this dropdown to upload the file and then name the font inside your custom code. And after you've named your font family, you can use it in your custom CSS, applying it to unique selectors and don't be afraid to use that block ID to change an individual part of your Squarespace website. All right, my friend, we covered a lot of stuff in this video. And again, I've included a lot of important links in the description below. So definitely check those out to learn more about the different resources that you have available to add that custom font to your Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at insidethesquare.co. That's inside the square dot C O.